You start off, you go to umpire school. Out of, let's say, approximately 150, 175 guys, top 25 will go to a placement camp. They place the guys into the minor leagues. And you have to work your way up year after year and go one level at a time. There's rookie ball, short season, long season, high season A, double A, triple A, big leagues. The average person spends six or seven years in the minor leagues. Once you get to the triple A level, the major league supervisors start looking at you. Uh, the goal now is to get to triple A because you're going to get a look. Once you go to triple A, you have to be ready for major league baseball. In order to work a major league game, you can't just work a couple triple A games and go right to the big leagues to fill in. You have to go to the Arizona Fall League and you have to work big league spring. Once you start filling in in the major leagues when the full-time major league umpires are either injured or on vacation, you usually have to have somewhere between at least 200 games filling in before they'll consider you. And then once a major league umpire retires, then they hire you and to fill that spot. You know, I tell people that it's, it's basically a, a, a huge gamble that you're taking because there's no guarantee that you're going to make it there. Even if you're good enough to be a major league umpire, if there aren't any spots open, then you're not going to become a major league umpire. There might be four job openings in the next five years, and that's going to be it.